Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Potato Dude is doing his job. And there's more potato dudes below him. So I've got a bunch of potatoes now to just kind of automatically collect. That is the basic plan here. Uh, and then this is going to be carrots. I haven't even started on the carrots yet. But it's going to be the same thing as the potato dudes. But I need carrot dudes in order to do that. Um, so here's what I'm doing. I think this guy only has carrots. And back here... I know these guys have potatoes and I don't know how many but they have potatoes and this guy I think might be fresh he might not have any potatoes or he might so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go grab some carrots hi dude and let me show you what I've been doing to rehabilitate these guys so I've been over at my artificial village pulling out villagers and bring them over here and trying to catch them as youngsters. So I've got three guys here that I'm pretty sure are all carrots. And then I've got, I've got this guy and this guy. So, I've, and he will be, he will be carrots for sure shortly. Uh, so that means I have like five carrot guys. And initially I, um, I brought these two over. They're nitwits. And I was gonna, I thought I was gonna have to build a village breeder. Um, but of course I can't do it in here because there's no sky access and you need, villages need sky access. So this doesn't count as a village at this point. Uh, I'd have to punch a hole in the pyramid or something to make that work or go outside the pyramid, which was kind of what I was planning. So these guys are, have been cleaned. And I've been playing around with ways of getting. Oh, let me let me grab the carrots. Hang on a sec. Hey, dude. So, getting these guys in and out. It's not that difficult. Um, and normally I would do it with rails and all that nonsense, but I just need to get them. Whoops. Mm, might be too far. That's okay. Um, normally I, I do it with rails and all that, which will work. But this works pretty well too. So, uh, and I've been trying to come up with a way that will work both in and out. So I've got these pistons here, these sticky pistons. And I've got blocks, right? Yeah, let's use these blocks since they happen to already be here. And I'll put a little... That's completely unnecessary, but here's what I've been doing. So I've been going and getting in the boat. Sailing on top of this block, getting out. And then I put down... Blop. And that won't quite clear the fence because the fence is, of course, one and a half blocks tall. But since I pushed up a piston, I can do that. And we know that we can do this without hurting anything. Very nice. And if we turn on hitboxes, I can come up here and target the hitbox. And not hurt him. Okay, so that occasionally happens. Hi, dude, how are you? Now he's surrounded by carrots that need harvesting. I have a, there we go. Now this I can clean up in a minute, but here's what I do. I've got carrots on my bar and he's, he's gonna take a moment to get used to his surroundings. Well, he just did it. Um, and he's gonna start planting and I just need to come here and look at what he's planting. Potatoes. 
I don't want potatoes. I want carrots. What I'm doing is I'm walking around behind him and harvesting the carrots that he, the potatoes that he's planting, and replacing them with carrots. Get rid of the hit boxes, potatoes, and eventually he will run out of potato, out of potatoes. He has more in his pocket than I thought he did. Carrots, and eventually, since he's harvesting carrots. But the potatoes are filling up his his first inventory slots. Um, he will eventually run out of potatoes, and he will start planting the carrots that he's harvesting. Oh. And the reason that I feel somewhat confident that he's will run out of potatoes, I thought he was relatively clean. Um, and the reason I thought he was relatively clean is because I captured him as a baby, baby villager. So potatoes. All I have to do is follow him around. And he can't pick up any of these potatoes until they grow and are ready to harvest. Potatoes. I don't think he's, he, I don't think he's picking up any of these. If not, I could give him a little bit of space. But the cool thing is that I can just go around and pick up after him. And I guess to do this, I could just not plant. I could just harvest the, the potatoes that he was planting and leave it empty to give him a, uh, a reason to want to come and plant. Like that. He just planted more potatoes. Okay. Hi. Huh. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to ask you to move a bit. And pick up your potatoes. So I've got 12 potatoes. Oh, this one's still empty, dude. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, he's picked up some of the ones I've been harvesting. So I should give him a little bit more space before I go and and undo what he's trying to do. Do I have? Yeah, I have a fortune pick here. Look at all that tasty farmland that you've not planted. And this is potatoes. Still potatoes. Hi. So potatoes. He has a lot more potatoes than I thought. Carrots. Car oh, is he starting to plant carrots now? He has started to plant carrots. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that he is cured. Okay. I think we have successfully nabbed all of the potatoes that he had in his inventory. It's 16. And he is now planting nothing but carrots. Very nice. And I'm going to help him out here and plant these. And I'm going to double check all of everything just to make sure. Because I want him harvesting more carrots at this point to make sure that he doesn't run out. Just in case he's still got some potatoes in there. But I think if at this point on, he will only do carrots. Huh. 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 Oh, yeah. I think he's good. Thank you, buddy. I'm going to double check one more time, but then... We're going to give him a little bit of time and then I will show you what I've been doing to get him, get the villagers out of these little farm areas. Um, it's kind of the reverse of how I got him in. But there's, there's a little bit of, uh, there's a, there's a little hiccup to it and, but it's a relatively easy hiccup to overcome. All right, so this guy, 
has been farming the potatoes uh, or farming the carrots. I'm pretty sure he's completely potato free. And let me, if I can get into the boat, we can go and get him in the boat. Oh, what are these? They're carrots. Okay. So here's, uh, moving these guys around in boats is by far the best. And I want to take him out somewhere over here. One thing about the boats is when we, this is, I'm on farmland right now. And everything's cool, but I can't go up off of the farmland because the farmland block is a little bit shorter. So what I need to do is I need to push up a farmland block. So I'm going to take out some of these potatoes here, and then I'm going to dig out some blocks and put in the pistons underneath. But the trick is I have to do it on a piece of farm block. But the cool thing is you can do that. So, um, so let me do this. I only need two. I've got some dirt in my pocket. I should, yep, right here. Because I've taken out a couple of farmland blocks. And then I need to re-till this. Now we'll be able to, to sail up on there. And, and then, And then I can take, um, I can use sandstone for now. There we go. And place on my pistons. And these are all sticky. Um, no, I think I want it there. So here's what we do. Come here, we get in the boat. We get in the boat. Get in the boat. Okay. I'm being clumsy. Get in the boat. There we go. Now I can sail up onto this piece of farmland. Huh. There we go. And then come over here and if I push this lever, pushes that up. So can't sail over the fence, but the other piston is right here. No, this one here. There we go. Now we can sail up and over and we're free. Pretty cool. And I have to, you know, re-tear all that down and everything, but that's not too big of a deal. So now this guy is a reformed carrot farmer and I'll go put him with the other guys. Uh, and then when that guy over there has been farming for a bit and he stops farming, indicating that his pockets are full. Uh, then I'll, I'll do the same thing with him and then I'll have five reformed carrot farmers inside here uh, to be able, to, when I start putting the carrot layers in, in the other hole, I will be able to start doing that. Carrot farmer holding pen. So I'm pretty sure this guy's got nothing but carrots and these guys will help. So there you go. Um, that's So that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been playing a huge amount. I got really, I got sick. I got the flu, which was not great. And um, so I haven't been playing a whole lot. And we are, so I haven't made as much progress over here as I would like. Oh, I don't know. Can I do that from here? Oh, I can almost do it. Oops. Anyway, uh, so I've been recording for a bit here. We will uh, switch back to the right tool. I'll clean up this a little bit. Then I need to go take care of a few other things before tonight. Tonight is Oscars, which I don't know if any of you really care but I do um, so we will be watching the Oscars and then um, that 
that's yeah so that's that okay we put some dirt back in and re till and replant and everything should be good and I have carrots and just let these grow and then I'll go grab another farmer from my artificial village bring him over and then I can clear out any carrots any potatoes that he might have there these guys I know have potatoes but I've got four of them and I think um, I think I want to put a few more layers in here I don't see why not Blop. Uh, I, I think I have plenty of room to I think I have room for four more so I'll just keep those and I've got five here and I think I have four layers here in here as is, right? I think it was four. Um, so, so in that case, then that means I need about eight. So I need about three more farmers, three more carrot holding farmers to make this all work, right? So I took out two chests here and there's two more up there. Yep. So I think I could double the number here. It doesn't take up that much space. It's easy to build and I have the I have the farmers around, so. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. I will work on this on on off time and continue working and get this all going and then start working on the potatoes. Or the carrots, I'm sorry. And then we'll be we'll be good. Fill up a few more of these. Get them in here, and then all of that will end up 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 on the top there, where it'll be easy enough to grab. And I can just grab shulker boxes full of potatoes to bring over to the village to farm with the farmers and make lots of emeralds. So, anyway. That's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Bye.